Okay, good day. So, ito po yung pagpapatuloy natin uh, ng uh, discussion ko po, ng free lecture ko po for civil service exam review. So, ang ituturo ko lang po is for mathematics. Ang purpose lang po ito upang makatulong po sa ating mga takers na mag-take ng board exam. Basta huwag lang kalimutan pong i-click yung subscribe at saka i-share lang po yung video ko po para mas marami pa po tayong matutulungan. Again, uh, good day. I'm from uh, MC Sport Coaching Center and I'm Engineer Melvin John Bansuelo. So, ang topic po natin ngayon under basic math is integers or unahin po natin yung sa operation ng integers, yan po yung addition of integers. Okay? So, problem number one, which of the following is not an integer? A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. B, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. C, negative 5, negative 3, 0, 3, 5. D, pi, 0, negative 2, 3. Ang tanong class, ano nga ba yung integer? Yung integer is a whole number. Pag sinabi po natin whole number, kasali po yung 0. Okay? And, Pag sinabi po nating uh, whole number, eh, hindi po siya fractional. Ibig sabihin ng fractional, 2 third, 3 halves, 5 over 8, yun po yung fractional. Or uh, another form na may sabi natin fractional is may point, 5.3, 2.4, yun po example lang fractional. So it is a whole number, not a fractional that can be positive, negative, or Zero. So, positive, negative, or zero. Whole number na positive, negative, or zero. So, therefore, uh, possible negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on are all integers. So, therefore, sa problem na 2 class, sabi kanina, whole number na not a fractional, tama po si letter A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Lahat po ito sila integer, tama rin po si B. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Lahat po sila integers. Letter C, tama rin po. Because a 0 is also included as a whole number. Si letter D, mali na po. Kasi yung pi po class, this is, ang value niya is 3.14. Therefore, fractional po siya class. So, therefore, ang correct answer po sa problem number 1 is letter D. Okay? So, letter D ang correct answer. Problem number two, which of the following is an integer? Again, pag sinabi integer, it is a whole number. Okay, whole number po siya and hindi po pwede fractional. And then, uh, so pwede siyang positive, negative, or zero. So, tandaan lang, hindi po siya pwede fractional or de may decimal point. So, sa choices, saan po dyan yung integer? Is it letter A, negative 1.43? Letter B, 2 thirds. Letter C, 69. Letter D, square root of 2. So, yung A, B, at saka D are fractional numbers. Or yung may, yun po yung mga numbers na may decimal point. So, therefore, ang correct answer is problem number 2. That is letter. So, ayan ang definition of integer. It is a whole number, not a fractional number. That can be positive, negative, or 0. So, the correct answer here, yung favorite natin, that is letter C. 69. So, tapos na tayo kung ano yung integer. Ang integer is a uh, whole number but not a fractional number. Okay? So, it's uh, pwede siya positive, negative, or or zero. So, ang tanong, problem number 3, find the sum of positive 4 and positive 3. So, paano ba tayo magkuha ng addition? So, when you add integers that are both positive, it is just like adding whole numbers. So therefore, kung mag add ka ng dalawang integer na puro positive, therefore ang result is also positive. Parang simple addition lang yung nangyari. So that is the plus, uh, the positive, the positive plus positive always equals to the positive. So therefore, positive 4 plus positive 3 so, the correct answer is 7, that is letter letter A. 
So, problem number 4, kanina both positive. Positive plus positive is always positive. Ngayon naman, paano ba kumuha ng, ng sum of two numbers na parehas naman silang dalawa na negative? So, adding number that are both negative is just the same as adding numbers that are both positive. The only difference is that if you add two negative numbers, the result is negative. So, again, negative Integer plus another negative, always a result po is a negative integer. So from here, negative 4 plus negative 3, therefore the correct answer is negative 7. That is letter, ayun, that is letter, letter C. Ito, find the sum of positive 6 and negative 9. Is it letter A? 15, letter B, positive 3, letter C, negative 3, D, negative 15. So again, a positive integer plus a negative integer always equals. Paano ba siya equal? Get the difference of two numbers, follow the sign of larger integer. So from the choices, 9 minus 6, kasi sabi niya, find, get the difference of two numbers, follow the sign of larger integer. So negative 9 plus 6. It's the same, 9 minus 6, 3, pero ang sign ng 3 is negative since mas malaki si 9 kay 6. So, the correct answer here is, what? Negative 3. So, yung example dito, class, yung example na equal yung number but opposite in sign, nagka-cancel out. Gaya ni plus 1 minus negative 1, nagka-cancel out po yan. Plus 6 saka negative x, nagka-cancel out. So, therefore, so, ito plus 6 plus negative 9. So, that is negative 3. Find the sum of positive 9 and negative 5. Parehas lang ata kanina. So, plus a positive sign plus a negative sign integer always equals the difference of two numbers follow the sign of the larger integer. So, 9 minus 5, 4. Since ang, ang sign ng larger integer is Positive, so for positive 4. That is letter, ayun, letter, letter B. Okay, that's all for addition of subtraction. Again, wag kalimutang mag-subscribe at saka i-share po yung video ko about civil service exam. Okay, so ang next topic po natin is subtraction of integers. Again, don't forget to share and add the page Okay, so next topic po natin is subtraction of interest. Okay, good day and have a nice day. Thank you.